yeah. So what what do you know of uh, Cameo Miko or Miko um, Cameo? I, I think as far as we, we understand, she's the pioneer in Ikigai research, really the catalyst um, back in 1960. And um, so she's really the one as uh, from perspective of, I guess, clinical psycho- uh, psychiatrist hmm. started this up. You know, asking this question of what it really means to have ikigai, what makes one's life worth living, and her work. I think she basically theorized what constitutes ikigai and made a clear distinction, uh, which is um, ikigai as a source of ikigai and a feeling of ikigai. Mm-hmm. I think that really, um, her work is still really highly influential across different fields today, is, is what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's my go-to answer for the question, what's Ikigai is, or you have Ikigai sources or Ikigai objects, and then you have Ikigai Khan. And it's something you feel and even like embody, you can feel it in your body sometimes. So, yeah, it'd be good to see her work published in other languages, but I I think that's (laughs) unlikely. I've, I've checked the copyright. And it's 70 years in Japan. So there's like another 15 years before uh, we could freely translate her book into English. But oh, wow. yeah, she yeah, she was amazing. She was also a translator, a linguist. She tutored the former empress, Michiko. She has the most incredible CV. So yeah, very inspiring person. 